Time's running out. We're now just a couple hours away from Oregon's vaccine mandate deadline at midnight. State and hospital workers will need to show proof of vaccination or an exemption to keep their jobs. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. We've been following the story all day into the evening, checking in with every institution and group that has to meet those requirements. Elise Haas joins us live with the very latest. Elise, how is it going as we're only, what, two hours away from the deadline? Yeah, Jeff, just two hours away, and state officials were telling me that their vaccination numbers were changing by the hours today. We have one hospital that says they've already met 100% compliance, while others are waiting until tomorrow to release those final numbers. Oregon's largest school districts are hitting high vaccination rates as the governor's vaccine mandate is here. Beaverton School District with 97% vaccinated, Salem at 98%, and Portland Public Schools with a 96% vaccination rate. PPS Human Resource officials say their vaccine status has been updating by the minute. Now 90 PPS employees have started their vaccine series, leaving around 3% of employees non-compliant, including around nine teachers. We have um, a, a handful of employees who will be placed on leave and they we will be processing their terminations. School staff who don't have proof of vaccination or an approved exemption can't work in any school system in Oregon. Meanwhile, the major hospitals in the area share their preliminary vaccination rates. Salem Health at 89%. Legacy at 95%, OHSU 96%, Providence at 97%. They'll report final updated numbers on Tuesday. However, Salem Health confirmed on Monday they've hit 100% compliance. With 89% of their staff vaccinated, they approved roughly 490 exemptions and put 44 employees on unpaid leave which is less than 1% of their staff. Compare that to OHSU's so far 96% vaccination rate. OHSU has approved 24 religious and medical exemptions with 30 exemptions pending. The Oregon Department of Corrections says their numbers are changing by the hour as the midnight deadline nears. But so far, the Department of Corrections preliminary compliance totals show a 67% vaccination rate with a 20% exemption rate. And they have more than 500 Department of Corrections employees who are still unverified. And I also reached out to the governor's office about the exemption rate within the executive branch. And according to the Department of Administrative Services, there are one in 10 executive branch employees in the state that have received a religious exemption. Reporting live in Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.